Hello chess friends and welcome to Azaro's chess channel and welcome to my basics in chess series. So in this series we see opening principles, mid game strategy and of course the end game strategy and we have also this instructive chess games which in which I connect uh, the opening with the middle game and of course with the end game. So this is now our third instructive chess game that I wanted to show you and it was a game played by Moritz Borges against Emmanuel Lasker. So I think this uh, game has very good elements of a chess game not that it uh, has only good elements uh, it's i think it's understandable for all of us because you'll see uh, in, in this game by manuel lasker he played this simple threat idea and uh, you should uh, realize the power of this simple threat because you just keep your opponent occupied and you your opponent has uh, has always to bother uh, bother about something and meanwhile you can improve the position of your piece so let's see now this very good game played by emmanuel lasker we have now e4 here uh, and e5 uh, knight on f3 knight on c6 uh, bishop on b5 now we have the Rui lopez uh, the spanish game now knight on uh, f6 the berlin defense so with, the, with an immediate attack uh, here on this e4 and uh, of course uh, in this main line here white's gonna castle uh, black takes here on e4 and now after d4 you see the threat is of course uh, by by white to play the rook on on e1 and create this discovered attack on the king so that's why um black doesn't react here uh, on the straight here on, on the on the d4 square because now black has to be fast on development uh, he has to castle now a queen on e2 was played and now uh, knight on d6 attacking the bishop here we have bishop takes on c6 b takes c6 and now um d takes e5 and now knight on b7 the knight uh, is a little bit awkward here on the square b7 but uh, black will continue the game with the bishop pair and i've explained in my all basics in chess series how you should play against the bishop pair so one of these rules is of course when we have this double pawn situation to try to undouble this pawn so here after b, uh, b3 emmanuel lasker castled and now bishop on b2 and now of course the move d5 and now you see white has uh, some options here if uh, he leaves the position here like this uh, if he doesn't take en passant, uh well black can develop maybe the bishop here on b4 create a pinning situation and the bishops are working perfectly fine here because we have also possibilities to push the pawn here on c5 so black has the possibility of course to create this very strong center and with this bishop pair i don't think that this is a close position in which you favor your knights of course this is the perfect position for the bishop so that's why uh white uh, took out uh Ampassan here on d6 we have uh c takes uh d6 now knight from b to d2 and uh, now rook on e8 of course uh, with the discovered attack on the uh, on the queen and there is this rule also uh, how you should play in an open game i hope you realize that now we have a so-called open game because you see we don't have uh, so far uh, too many pawns here on the central on the central file so here on the e and d file we have only this uh, d6 pawn so it's really really an open game and uh, in an open game you should uh, notice uh, some things so when we have an open center you should put your pieces uh, as central as possible so you see this rook on uh, this rook on e8 idea is perfectly fine and meets with this uh, open center so as you see we are putting our rook towards the center and you should keep your pieces uh, connected and compact together so that means you don't want to have a lack of coordination with your pieces you want them all to be protecting each other so you see we have now also uh, the rook is protecting the bishop the bishop is protecting the queen the queen is protecting the rook the uh, knight is protecting uh, the queen the queen is pro protecting the bishop the bishop and and stuff like that so this is now a really compact position by the pieces and that's how you should uh, play in an open center you don't want to get lo uh, your uh, pieces loose and uh, 
Lask here. Emmanuel Lasker, of course, played a very, very good opening so far. Now he has a really compact position and he managed to undouble his pawns also as uh, as you should and uh, now it's a perfect it's a perfect uh, continuation for the bishop so now rook on e e1 and now again you see again we are putting our pieces towards the center we want to have a, a really compact and again uh, although maybe it's not now the most active square for the bishop but this position is perfectly fine and now uh, white played here knight on e4 now uh, we have d5 and now knight on uh, d2 and again and now bishop on a3 uh with the discovered attack on the queen but here um white tried bishop on uh, e5 now f6 again with the pin and now queen on a6 attacking also this bishop on a3 we have f takes e5 and now uh, queen takes on a3 and uh, now i hope you realize that uh, emmanuel lasker has a uh, perfect perfect central control here with the pawns and uh, although it's uh, obviously a better game here for for black it's hard it's hard to uh, continue here because maybe there is uh, there is uh, hard to find a real plan here so one of the maybe uh, best plans in chess believe me or not is the power of a simple threat so uh, when while playing chess do not underestimate this power of the simple threat the power of the simple threat is uh, really uh, one of the best uh, best uh, principles in chess because you're keeping your opponent occupied and meanwhile you can improve the position of your pieces so here uh, here in from from this point on uh, Emmanuel Lasker plays simply on the simple threat idea and he uh, will crush uh, his opponent very effectively so here uh, we have now the simple threat uh, e4 attacking the knight so the knight goes here on d4 now we have queen on f6 it's not 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 something special nothing fancy as i always love to say just uh, Manu Lasker keep, keeps attacking and here after c3 he creates uh, here rook on f8 the simple threat with an attack on f2 so here um, we have f3 and now Manu Lasker again with a simple threat to, uh, with an attack on the knight so now uh, queen on uh, c1 was played and now knight on uh, c5 with the, with the simple threat uh, to and play uh, knight on uh, d3 and of course uh, to fork here the rook and the queen and of course uh, get a better material get a better exchange of pieces and of course uh, a better middle game so here knight on um, f1 was played if uh, black tries me here maybe knight on d3 so uh, here of course uh, the, the queen is saying so so far it's not possible but again emmanuel lasker is playing on the simple threat and he plays uh, here uh, queen on g6 again with the same idea to uh, put the knight on d3 so here we have rook on rook on e3 and now uh, knight on d3 anyway again attacking the queen which is also a simple threat it's not something that uh, white can uh, white cannot escape from it's just keeping uh, white occupied and uh, you see in every move uh, white has to react so it's really an effective weapon in chess and i hope you realize that from from that point on that i've uh, showed you now emmanuel lasker is simply on the attack so here uh, queen on d1 and now uh, knight on f4 again uh, with the simple threat to checkmate here now white has to react here we have um uh, g uh, knight on g3 now h5 now we have the threat to push the pawn on h4 and again try the checkmate here so that's why knight on uh, knight on e2 was played now we have a very good uh, knight sacrifice knight takes on g2 so again white has to react king takes on g2 now we have again uh here uh, a move that uh, white has to react here so here after e takes f3 we have rook takes on f3 and now bishop on h3 with a check uh, king takes on h3 now uh, queen on g4 with a check so again white has to react we have king on uh, g2 and now 
queen takes on f3, the king has to move, and now here uh, h4, again the simple threat, so of course white's not gonna give up his uh, knight because we will have simply the rook for the knight and of course the bad exchange, so again uh, white has to react, knight on h1, and here uh, after queen on e3, uh, white uh, simply resigned because if you go uh, king on uh, g2, then you get h3 checked. So, I hope you realize this simple threat idea. You see, uh, from from the point on, uh, Emmanuel Lasker really sim uh, simply attacked, and White was all all the time occupied with the simple threats. And uh, as I said, don't underestimate this power because it sometimes it's it's the best uh, it's the best way to continue. Uh, to continue in the middle game and but don't under, underestimate also your opponent uh, possi opponent's possibility to play on this simple threat idea. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Meanwhile, you can watch watch my other basics in chess, instructive chess games, and you can also watch, watch my best chess games of all times. Uh, if you want to see the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history, and you can also subscribe to my channel. Thanks you for watching, guys, and chess is the best.